The 1932 Pollister Rebellion, also known as the Constitutionalist Revolution, was a major uprising that took place in the Brazilian state of Sao Paulo. The revolt was sparked by the dissatisfaction of the people with the central government, which they believed had been ignoring their demands for greater political autonomy and representation. In the early 20th century, Brazil was going through a period of political and social upheaval. The country had just transitioned from a monarchy to a republic, and the new government was struggling to maintain stability and legitimacy. Sao Paulo, one of Brazil's most prosperous states, felt increasingly marginalized by the federal government, which was dominated by politicians from other regions. The Paulistas, as the people of Sao Paulo are known, were particularly dissatisfied with the government's decision to appoint a president from Minas Gerais, a rival state, and with the lack of investment in their infrastructure and economy. They also felt that they were not represented proportionally in the National Congress, which was dominated by politicians from the north and northeast regions of Brazil. On July 9, 1932, a group of military officers and civilians in Sao Paulo declared the establishment of a provisional government, with the aim of creating a new constitution that would grant greater autonomy to the states and more representation to the Paulistas in the federal government. The rebels, who were led by General Isidoro Dias Lopes, quickly gained control of much of the state, including its capital, Sao Paulo City. The central government, led by President Gechilio Vargas, responded by sending troops to quell the rebellion. The ensuing conflict, which lasted for three months, was characterized by fierce fighting and brutal repression on both sides. The Paulistas were outnumbered and outgunned, and their makeshift army was no match for the highly trained and well-equipped troops of the federal government. Despite their valiant efforts, the rebels were eventually defeated, and the central government regained control of Sao Paulo. The conflict claimed the lives of an estimated 2,000 people, including civilians, soldiers, and rebels. Aftermath Although the rebellion was ultimately unsuccessful, it had a significant impact on Brazilian politics and society. The Paulistas, who had fought for greater autonomy and representation, became a powerful political force in the decades that followed, and many of their demands were eventually met. The rebellion also helped to solidify the military's position as a major political actor in Brazil. Many of the officers who had fought in the rebellion went on to occupy key positions in the military and government, and the military would play a central role in Brazilian politics for much of the 20th century. The 1932 Paulister Rebellion was a defining moment in Brazilian history, and it continues to be remembered and commemorated today. Although the rebels were ultimately defeated, their struggle for political autonomy and representation helped to shape Brazil's political landscape and laid the groundwork for future political and social reforms.